been talking to some people. One of my contacts just had some guy in Arshadah asking about me. Exactly what's he want to know about you? My contact says the guy practically screams spook. He's asking about my whereabouts. Goes by the name of Carteri. The spook, not my contact. I think we have time to pay him a visit, don't you? I'm not leaving him loose to come after us. We'll deal with him soon. All right, then we have a plan. Try to be more careful. Coral, well, this is a surprise. Never thought you'd just turn yourself in. Okay, first thing, my name's not Coral. Second, what are you talking about? Right, of course not. I suppose you're just here for a friendly chat, then? Could aim for something that won't kill him. Arm or leg? Might speed things along. I kinda like that idea. Just try not to make a mess. I can imagine what she's told you, Hunter. But you're being played. She's anything but a helpless little girl. Your intel is worthless. This isn't Coral. Assuming I buy that, what do you want me to do? Hey, I've got an idea. Maybe you could tell me who Coral is and who sent you. Let's keep this short, shall we? I don't want anyone seeing us and reporting this. And I'm not stupid enough to draw on you. Here's everything I was given on my target. Take it and go. Data pad's encrypted. See if I can crack it later. This thing... she... really does look like me, huh? She's got nothing on you. No, she definitely looks like me. Guess I have plenty to keep me busy for a while. We should get going. That new armor? I like it. it. Makes your arms look, uh, bigger. Not that they needed it. Guys gotta make an impression. Nothing can be small. Except your ego. That's pretty dainty. Anyway, we've got things to do, people to hunt. That guy, Carteri from Narshada, remember him? Doesn't exist. We met him, so he's real. Fake identity? I don't know. I'm not sure he wasn't a hollow, or maybe a bunch of Minox in a human suit. I can't find out anything about him. Nothing. You already thought he was SIS. Yeah, but he was such a wimp, I sort of threw that theory out. You know what's weird? The more I look at that holo of coral, the more it makes me think. If I've got a sister, what else have I got? Aunts? Uncles? Cousins? Maybe I've been missing family dinners for my whole life. Could be a bunch of people wondering where you are right now. Think so? Probably all torqued at me. That Mako, she never calls, she never writes. Still, I've got to wonder, how are they connected to SIS? Something I need to figure out. You know SIS computers? <laughs> Way easier to slice than I thought. Which is sort of worrying now that I think about it. Did some poking around in a few classified Republic databases. Found my birth certificate. Well, uh, maybe. Found a dozen birth certificates, all with the gene stamp a lot like mine. I followed you up to poking. Everything after that could have been in hut ease. My family's records. It's gotta be. Parents, siblings, maybe grandparents, who knows what else. Uh, no names or dates though, just an SIS project number. 32. Have to keep looking, see what else I can find. Been running some diagnostics on the ship. Hyperdrive seems to need a little TLC. We ought to get it looked at. What's worse than a neglected hyperdrive? Might be a time to break from business. Go get some R&R. &R. Taking a break sounds good. What do you have in mind?
We should go somewhere. Just you and me. Look, I like you. You're fun, and you look good in door steel, but it's a really bad idea for us to get involved. Never makes business and pleasure, you know? Leads to trouble. We can talk about it later. Right. Let's get back to work, okay? Remember the SIS project number I found? 32? Turns out if you search for it in enough super-secret Republic databases, it gets noticed. Ran into a little, uh, trouble. Like, if I keep doing this, the chance of mysteriously disappearing goes up dramatically. Sort of trouble. Anything happens to you, I don't know what I'll do. You know, you just can't find another slicer who'll put up with you. Figure there are other, less hazardous channels I can look into. I'll, uh, let you know if I decide to do anything stupid. Or, more likely, let you know after. Remember how I said I'd avoid SIS databases for the time being? Decided this was a good time to take a crack at the encryption on that SIS creep Carteri's datapad. The encryption is crazy. Someone threw a solid wall of credits into keeping this thing secure. Anyone goes to that much trouble to keep a secret. It's gotta be something serious. That's the scary part. I mean, I'm seriously getting the creeps now. What's my family involved in that's worth this kind of money to the Republic? You're really upset about this. I don't know if it's about my family or Brayden or just a puzzle I can't solve. It's making me crazy. Anyway, thanks for listening to me, Babel. Much appreciated. SIS just throw their ciphers a party with clowns and a juggling bantha. Stupid data pad is impossible to decrypt, but not all is lost. Found a holo address for Coral, I think. I mean, it could be her. I sort of wanted you around when I called her. How could I pass this up? Go ahead when you're ready. Sure, because this will be fun. Sort of like flying into a black hole. Right, it's nothing to worry about. It's just a stupid call. Hello? Hi. Coral? It's Coral, right? I I'm Mako. Mother of... M Mako? My little sister Mako? I, I can't believe it. I thought... I, I thought you were dead. How did you find me? Wasn't exactly easy. I uh, ran into an SIS guy looking for you. Isaac? The SIS agent? Was his name Isaac? Don't know if it's weirder that you're being hunted by multiple agents, or that you know them all personally. Oh no. Uh, Mako, you've gotta help me. Please. If you're gonna tell me SIS is after you, I already figured that out. Carteri's just one of the agents after me. Isaac's the one leading them. If he finds me... What? What's he want you for? I've gotta go. I I've been on this channel too long already. He's on drum and cause looking for me right now. If there's anything you can do to stop him. Wait, Coral, what's going on? Why is he after you? They're already trying to trace my location. I, I have to go, please. You're the only hope I've got. What is it with people never answering my questions? Gotta be hiding something. Oh, that was weird, wasn't it? It wasn't just me, right? She's really like me, isn't she? I really have a sister. Let's go to Drum and Koss. Hold it right there, Coral. For the love of- I'm not Coral! 
Don't do anything stupid. We should wait for Isaac. Are you crazy? What are we supposed to do? Ask her to just behave herself? I'm just saying Isaac will be here soon. Let's not jump the gun. Uh, hello? Guys, can we talk for a minute? Maybe Isaac will get here soon, or maybe he'll decide to stop for lunch first. We don't exactly have a lot of options here. Starting to look like you got all the brains in your family, Mako. No kidding, am I invisible? I should have shown up dressed in a Wookiee costume or something. Someone is gonna answer me this time. Hey, girls! Over here! Look out, she's attacking! Sorry, did you say something? I'm sort of half here, not feeling so good. I keep seeing those dead girls. My sisters, I just feel queasy. Anyway, sorry, um, did you need something? I'm here if you need me. Thanks. Can you cure a massive case of being freaked out? I don't exactly know how to get over seeing myself. Two of me die. And you know the worst part? Coral didn't tell me, didn't say a word about other sisters. Coral has some explaining to do. No kidding. I'm getting answers out of somebody if it kills me. Or them. Uh, preferably them. Let's get moving before I get even more weirded out. So, you want to hear the latest news from the Holonet? There's a lot of buzz about you. Apparently, you have a fan club now. Don't suppose you've changed your mind about things. What do you want me to say? I like you, but, uh, it's a bad idea. It's not gonna work. It's a small ship. There's nowhere to go when things get ugly. We're just not meant to be involved. I don't care if we're meant to be. I still want you. There's that melty look again. I'm gonna go back to work now. What is it they say about curiosity again? Does it involve lavish paid vacations? Maybe Trando Shawnee flatcakes? So I may have gone back into the SIS computers just a little. You wouldn't be telling me this if you didn't see something in there. Am I that obvious? Oh, gotta work on that. Remember how I said I found birth certificates from my family? A dozen of them? Well, I found out that ten of them also have death certificates. I know you got your hopes up. Wish it had turned out better. I'll get over it. Not like I haven't got tons of orphan experience already. I guess it's just me and Coral now. Well, on that cheery note... Let's move on, huh? Got a few minutes? Maybe you could give me a few pointers on my pistol technique. Guns and my favorite girl? Sign me up. You're so cute when you're thinking about shooting stuff. Because actually, I just wanted to show off. I've, I've got a new shot and I can't wait for you to see it. In fact, I'm sort of looking forward to seeing it in action myself. So what do you think? You're getting pretty good. Thanks. Let's move. I kind of want to shoot something now. Remember the guy Coral said was after her? Isaac, the one we were supposed to stop on Drum and Koss? Find something out? A little bit. He's SIS, no surprise there, so there's not much to find. Except for this. He's assigned to Project 32. The same project all my relatives seem to be associated with.
You got any idea what that means? I don't know yet. He's important, though, I can tell you that much. Searching for his name tripped all kinds of security, so don't be surprised if a lot of uniforms are looking for us. I think I might take up a new hobby for a while. A safer one, like, uh, Nexu grooming. Mind holding my hand while I do something stupid? Remember that data pad we got from Carteri about a million years ago? I cracked it. I got a holo frequency from Isaac, Mr. Project 32 himself. I can't do this without you. That's what I'm here for, stopping angry looks from strangers. Perfect. Just sort of stand there and look imposing. Pretty much like you always do. What's this? Okay, before we get started, let's set something straight. My name is Mako. M-A-K-O. Got it? Call me Coral, and so help me, I will find a way to punch you through the holonet. Mako? Well, that's a name I never thought I'd hear again. You're the first person who didn't insist she was Coral. I can imagine. Mako's been presumed dead for 20 years. No one was expecting her to turn up now. Unfortunately for both of us, I don't have much time for conversation at the moment. Think it might be in your best interest to talk sooner rather than later? Normally, I'd agree with you on that. My team has pinpointed Coral's location. Finding her is my priority. Mako, a word of warning. This isn't the life you want. Whatever happens, stay away from Coral. Why? What do you want with her? What did she do? She's killed most of the people involved in Project 32. I can only assume she'll try to kill you too. She's gotten almost everyone else. You haven't given us a whole lot of reason to believe what you say. Believe what you like. I'm afraid I'm still out of time. Mako, I'll contact you after my team's taken Coral into custody. We have a lot to talk about. Isaac, out. I'm intercepting all his outgoing transmissions. Looks like, yes, I have the coordinates he's sending out. Gotta be where she's hiding. That's exactly what I was thinking. I've downloaded the coordinates to the NAV computer. Let's go pay my sister a friendly visit. Hey, sis. Long time no see, huh? Mako? What are you doing here? How did you find me? Met some of our sisters. It was real sweet. Heartwarming, you might say. How oh, about that? I should have warned you. Probably slipped your mind that you're a quadruplet or whatever. Easy mistake. It's a lot to take in. I didn't want to overwhelm you. Project 32 is trying to frame me, Mako. The others were in on it. Help me slice his computer. If I can erase my records, I can just disappear. Nobody else will get hurt. Please. I've got two words for you, Coral. Bantha Dung. You used me. You wanted Isaac dead. You wanted the other girls dead. Quit pretending to be the victim. You want to get anything else out of her, be quick about it. Isaac's probably on his way. Well, Coral, you have anything else you want to say before I watch Isaac cart your sorry behind out of here? So I set you up. So what? You don't matter. Neither do the others. None of you are even real people. I'm real. You think I wanted to be part of a set? Would you want that? I'm not like the rest of you. I'm unique. You're not even a person. scared of you.
doesn't matter. Nothing you do matters. Even if I die here, you won't be real. You're just a cheap copy, Mako. She hammers a lot for someone who's just been totally beaten, doesn't she? What do you want to do with her? SIS can have her. She can rot for all I care. Mako? Is that you? How did... Nah, that's a stupid question. We'll take call from here. I guess we should thank you. Are you alright? I don't know what you guys are gonna do to her, but... I have a hunch she deserves it. The stuff she said about being a copy... What do you think that was supposed to mean? You're letting her get to you? I don't know. I feel pretty surreal right now. We're moving out. Make out, we'll have to talk later. Let's get out of here, okay? I want to be as far away from this place as possible. Hey, got a minute? I wanted to talk to you. I just wanted to say thanks for the coral thing. You didn't have to do all that. I did it for you. You can't go around saying stuff like that. We've got a business contract here. Stay professional. It's not about what I feel. We've got to work. Guess we'll have to stop working together. Okay, so all the stuff I said before, that whole not mixing work and whatever, I've officially changed my mind. Hey, I was scanning the holo net and I just lost track of time. Where is everybody? It's so quiet. I thought for a second I'd gotten on the wrong ship. Sounds about perfect, doesn't it? You might be onto something there. You know, I could get used to this. Peace, quiet, total lack of gold. You know what? You're okay. That's what I've been trying to tell you. Uh, sort of egotistical, but still, okay. When Brayden first talked about you, I don't know what I expected, but whatever it was, you're better. What I want to say is, you're awesome, and if you were lost in the same sector, I would definitely give you directions. And if someone put a bounty on your head, I'd shoot them for you. You wouldn't collect on it first? That's really sweet of you. All right, anyway, you get the point. Let's get back to work. It's strange. I haven't always known you. It just doesn't seem possible. It's gotten hard to remember what life was like before we met. Must have been pretty bad. Better not think about it, really. Yeah, pretty traumatic all the years I spent without your ego. I love you, you know. And you probably guessed that already. You want me to say it for you? I love you. Man, I wish I'd gotten a holo recording of that. Let's make this an official contract. What do you say? When you put it that way, how can a girl possibly say no?